opportunity does a team with so much consistent success in the preseason like the Chiefs present for your team? Uh, I mean, yeah, really good football team, obviously. Um, excited for the challenge. It's going to be a good uh, stepping stone for us with what we have to improve. And uh, looking forward to getting on the grass. Yeah, how much is it to guys not get caught up in playing the Chiefs and just more focused on us getting better for the team and doing what we can control? All of that, honestly. You know, we don't do the full mode of game planning in preseason. We're more working on we're still installing. Um, still getting our operations correct, all those things. But they know that we got a really good football team coming in here, so we better be buttoned up. How did you feel? Uh, you, you talked about Clark the other day. How did you feel Christian Matthew did? Really good. Really good. Yeah, I thought he had some good snaps. You know, he was lined up on Sutton a couple times and stayed in good position, played with proper technique, made a couple plays. Thought he had a good game. Yes, so have kids. <laughs> Don't look at <laughs> Kent, that's fifteen grand in our in our team meeting right there. Fifteen grand right there, and that would be the max. So from beginning beginning to end, over the course of the game, what do you think Clayton Toon learned about the NFL? Ah, uh, the details that you got to be right all the time to have yourself to give yourself a successful chance to have a good play, um, and I think that. Uh, just the improvement of d all different things with playing quarterback. He knows he has to improve on him to, to have the op the offense operate in a in a good way. So excited to see him go. Uh, he had a good day yesterday. Today we got some stuff in um, that we're going to try to confuse him a little bit on defense. But uh, he's doing a good job. What do you think about your your depth at outside linebacker? Uh, I like it. I like all. The, I like where all those guys are at. Is that a spot that you want as a rotation or you want a couple yeah, guys to I, emerge? I kind of like, I mean, yeah, you obviously want guys to emerge and be your premier players. But, you know, <clears throat> even when you have premier players, those big guys up front, you don't want to wear those guys down. So you guys will see if they're up on game day, they'll play. Do you like the process of having the competition and, and trying to figure out who the, the guy is to maybe be the starter or whatever it might be? Or would you prefer that? It was so cut and dry that a lot of those decisions were made for you. Yeah, I, I mean, I like comp There's always competition everywhere. I love competition. I think it brings the best out of players and coaches. So I, I love it. Is the expectation to give Toon a similar workload this week, or how different is it? Yeah, this? we'll see. We're kind of evaluating that right now. Good question, Tyler. We'll, we'll kind of develop each individual plan and, and kind of go from there. But um, he'll get his opportunities. Are you? Uh, you, you've talked about having a plan for, for Zach Ertz. Do you, do you feel like there's a chance he could play in the preseason? Or would you rather have him wait for the regular season? We'll see. we we got a long way to go with him about that. But um, obviously, the guy's played a lot of ball, and we'll do what's best for our team first and then Zach second. And he's on board with that. He looked good out there yesterday. He came down with a little bit of a cold, so you guys aren't going to see him out there today. I think his wife and kid were sick and passed it to him. So. Uh, He's going to miss today. But uh, he had a good day, and he, it was good to, oh, man, I got pads on for the first time in a while. You know, he was a little sore. But uh, he uh, he's ready to go. He looked good yesterday. In that first game, you guys got a lot of pressure on the quarterback. How much of a trickle down effect does that have on the backside of the defense? I was talking to Boot about it. His eyes lit up. He's like, yeah, that could Yeah, rush and cover, cover and rush. They go together. You know what I mean? When people talk about sacks, normally the back end's playing really good. You know what I mean? Because they got people covered and quarterback's first look isn't there. That goes into pre and post snap, what you know, all eleven guys are doing, affecting the quarterback. It's not just one guy, one group. Uh, it's all eleven out there and we have to put them in position to do that. So they understand that. They've done a good job with that. We gotta clean up some things as far as when we need to play with a little more air, when we need to play with a little less air, but I like how they're improving that part of their game. When do you anticipate your quarterback coming off the puck? Not sure. How do you assess your interior O line right now, especially center and left guard, where things stand? Yeah, like where all those guys are at. I like the competition there. I think they're, um, you know, getting comfortable with each other. You'll see some guys in and out today and tomorrow and the next game, and you know, against uh, Kansas City. And then when we go to Minnesota, it'll be a little bit different. But I like where they're at. You saw a lot of explosion out of those those guys up front on your O line. Uh, on their one-on-ones, just taking their guy and shredding him up the field. 
How much do you like that this early? Love it. You know, we want to be physical and tough and move people in the run game. You know, you got to create displacement to give the back angles to hit different holes. So I thought it was pretty good. Bob, don't think I'm going to let that slide now. We already had a $15,000 fine for a phone. That's a $5,000 fine for being late. Go ahead. Didn't Is that something from the game? Or? Yeah, he had a little residual effect from the game, so we're going to be smart with him. What about uh, Jeff Driscoll? Uh, a little bit of residual f effect from practice, so we're going to be smart with him too. I think we'll see B.J. Ujolari this week in preseason game. Uh, not sure yet. Um, you know, we're going to be smart with him. I, I need to see some things from him in practice before I feel comfortable putting him in, out in a game. L.J. Collier talked to us yesterday. And so he got an interesting story, and he's looking at this as a, a new start, new slate. And he said that you guys talked to him and, and had an idea for him. Can you maybe share a little bit what you think of that? Yeah, bit? just, you know, kind of with all our players. But, um, you know, knowing how they used them in Seattle for, you know, what they thought was best for their team, we're using them a little bit differently for what we think is best for our team and then for him. Um, he's done a really good job of – you know, taking on that responsibility and playing with some different techniques that he hasn't played with since he's been in the NFL. Um, I like where his game is at. He's he's a he's a mean guy with a high motor. I like that. Is he a sack guy or a stuffer or a edge guy? Uh, I think all of it. With Cole having so much experience, what do you look for in the practice reps and in the game, the game snaps? Just like all our quarterbacks, command, um, operation, production. Did say that you wanted the guys to use this week as kind of a get into your regular season routine. Find that. Can you give us more insight on that? Yeah, we just set up practice like we're still in training camp, so the practices weren't. You know, we're not running cars. We're not doing you know versus scouts anything like that. But the day was set up. Um, these this whole week was set up with, you know week one moving forward in mind. So we wanted to get them in that cadence and that routine, knowing that when we go to Minnesota, it would be completely different. The week after would be completely different. But truthfully, wanted to dry run it for the players a little bit to get in their routines, what they need to do to get ready to play, you know, from Monday morning till Sunday kickoff. And then for the coaches too, you know, because we already changed and tweaked a few things. I was thinking to myself, why did I make that decision in, in ju June? That was wrong. So. Um, we uh, we tweak some things, but uh, it's going to be similar today. What you see will be similar to yesterday, and then tomorrow will be a little bit of a shorter day. We get them out of here, and then Saturday we'll have meetings and and walk through, and then you either fly somewhere or you know you go to the team hotel and you go play on Sunday, Saturday this week, obviously. Drew's going up to the booth. He said this week. Uh, how about Nick? Uh, you got to ask him. I don't know what he's going to do. I think he's staying down, though. How comfortable would you say Isaiah Simmons is right now in that deep real center comfortable. field? Yeah, real comfortable. I think I, we gave him some things to work on this week. It showed up yesterday to make more plays. Um, but uh, I think as far as from a standpoint of being in the right spot, making the right calls, finishing with the correct leverage, um, you know, hitting his landmarks where his eyes are, his body positioning, his reaction time, he's doing a good job with it. When you guys first got here, what were your initial impressions of Antonio Hamilton? Uh, smart, tough, versatile, good teammate. Does anything jump out to you about Owen Papo besides the speed? Uh, yeah, he's violent, physical, violent. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him play these next couple of weeks.